Hi guys, it's Alice here from Mini Model Wars, and today I've got a uh, conversion for you, an Orky conversion. Um, basically, as you all know, or if you've read, or if you've seen my other videos, I'm, just, I'm starting Orcs. I thought, which better way to start your collection than um, with a conversion? So, a nice cheap conversion, which you can uh, sort of, you know, start your army, start, maybe think about your paint scheme on as well. I did it with my Kill Space Marines, I've done it with my Tau, and now I'm doing it with my Orcs. So, this is obviously, as you probably guessed, a Death Dread. Converted from the Assault and Black Reach um, Terminator. Uh, I'm on about a Dreadnought. Um, you know, it still has the Power Claw. You know, all that. I think that's a Multi Melter. All that, you know. Still on there. But I thought I'd just use them then to my... Uh, to my advantages. So, um, the weapons I chose, obviously, so I've got close combat arm there, and this close combat arm here, and then, so the weapons that I chose is a Scorcher on this side, basically just used those th two there, and a custom Mega Blaster, which is that massive thing there, I thought, you know, biggest weapon I've got, nice. Um, so basically, um, for the this close combat arm, I use this, which is a wheel. Just cut up the wheel from a Apex, um set I had, and then for this, then I just use a sprue. Stuck two pieces of sprue together, and did that, and then here again, then just sort of like a joint thing there. These guys still move. That's normal. And what I've done is, I've um, cut up the sarcophagus, and my plan is. After I've painted him, I'm going to stick an orc in there with like two arms coming out, um, sort of trying to come out and then hide the bottom up with this. You can only see his, because as you can see, there's only a torso and, oh, and torso and a head there. So um, <clears throat> basically that's my plan. Um, I was going to just show this model after I've painted it. But I thought I might as well, you know, if you guys want to see it in the process. I've stuck a lot of random parts in there. Just to show that it's obviously orky. And, you know, they've tried to do something to it. This leg then, I think it's from the, Bast the Bastion kit. I cut up the original leg, still got the parts, like the joints and stuff, which I'm going to be able to use. And I stuck that there. And um, put that there, unfortunately, what did happen was I accidentally got up the, uh, the base. <laughs> but I'll be able to stick that back on anyway. You can see the base on there still. So, I'm thinking maybe to put another arm up here. But then obviously, the, you could, you're only allowed two close combat arms. But, um, so, this is my bits box. As you can see, there's loads of, like, metal parts and screws. It's because I did, I think it's, like, uh, Plano or something like that. There's an actual company which you can do stuff like that, I thought. You know, I'll stick these in there anyway. I've got some wheels and stuff in there. Random stuff which I might be able to convert into some cool stuff and love Aphex. This massive rocket thing. Aphex. I'm thinking about maybe doing a. Uh, some sort, maybe a. Darker jet out of some Aphex parts. Obviously not these. But some uh, Aphex parts. And obviously even stuff like this from I got from the Aphex D Day set. And even an unfinished plane. Which I might make into a sort of darker jet or maybe something like that. Anyway. So, um, next then, I'll hopefully be, the next update will be after I've finished painting this badass. So, um, thanks very much, much for watching, and battle on. So, guys, this is, um, maybe a quarter of the way through, maybe not even that of my, uh, conversion painting. I'm at, at, on the painting at the moment. I've only painted the, um, the armour. Um, I've painted the checkers, and I've painted... The um, the fire, the flames, for the thousand suns. So, and I think they, at the moment, it's off its base. I've given it a new base. One that I found actually in my in my bits box. Don't know where it was. Um, uh, so basically, I've painted this armor here with screamer pink. Um, and then that literally is it for the armour. I've done chipped metal. I've basically just been experimenting with all the different things, really. I've done the chipped metal. 
with just some black. This is some random black, but you can get use any black. Um, lead belcher, and then rune fang steel. That's pretty simple again. Checkers, literally just normal white. Where's it? White scar. Um, the flames, corn red. Tau light orc, ochre, ochre, and then Uriel yellow. That's then for the flames. I try and put them on as fast as possible, so it's sort of wet blends. But it doesn't matter if it doesn't, to be honest. And I've also started working on the little orc that is going to go in the middle. I don't have an orc at the moment with me. So this guy is a croot. I'm going to use the same techniques again, just sort of experiment then on my little croot. How I'm going to paint my orc. I'm probably going to paint it with, first of all, some Caliban green. And then Warpstone green. And then some Warboss green after that. So I'll show you then, obviously, after I've done that. Uh, I've also been experimenting with some rust colours. Again from the book, brilliant little book, I'll take the arm off so um, so it doesn't shade it, hang on, hang on, hang on, got it, there we go, it pops off, don't worry, I didn't just break it or anything, so here's the rust at the moment, by using Rhinox Hide, and then Scrag Brown, and then Troll Slayer Orange, again from the How to Paint Sister Miniatures book, of which I have here at all times. So, um, I don't know when I'll do the next update, depends when I feel like it. I'm in the mood to paint though, that's the main thing. I'm not going to finish this guy, and you know, I'm not going to stop painting him until I've finished him, because I'm really, really, look, uh, you know, in the mood to paint him. Never painted orcs before. This is again a sort of experimental model. Um, as I said, it's quite good to, to have some sort of a starter model just to um, sort of see where you're going to go with all the paint jobs and stuff like that. I've been thinking about the clothes, maybe some Rhinox Hide and then Scrag Brown as a highlight on the clothes, but we'll see when I get the uh, the models really. I've also got some tin bits for the, for the metal stuff, I'm thinking. Tin bits, um, a lot of the a, lo oh, a lot of rust, a lot of um, a lot of rust, which obviously the, are these three colours here, and a lot of uh, chipping, which are these three colours here. So I'm going to do a lot of things like that just to make it a bit more orky. I've got a picture of the there's the death dread. So I've got a picture of that, of that on hand, so I'm sort of using that as well as a uh, sort of reference. So hopefully then uh, I'll give you an update when I'm uh, when I feel like it.